Assalamu alaikum beautiful people, this is Shah Madris with Froggy. To start off this, we're giving away a brand new iPhone 6 Plus, 64 GB model. It'll be open to all networks. We can ship this anywhere in the world. All you gotta do to win this is subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's get back to the video. Five things you guys can do to stay fit this Ramadan for guys and for girls. Tip number one for guys, you guys need to start a diet called Keto Diet, K-E-T-O Diet, okay? I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can learn what that diet is all about. Basically, you eat a high fat and high protein diet with almost no carbohydrates. It's not going to make you feel hungry anymore. You're going to burn a lot of body fat and it's an amazing diet. So make sure you guys check it out. And for girls, what you guys can do is eat a lot of yogurt and apples. The yogurt will decrease the amount of acidity in your stomach and the apples, it's best for you girls because obviously girls need more iron than men do. So eat apples during Sahur and yogurt during Sahur too. Tip number two, when you guys are about to start your fast, so you guys can eat some eggs, you guys can eat some cheese, and guess what? Lots and lots of water. That's the best thing about keto diet that you're not really counting the calories anymore. You're not going to feel any hunger. And for girls, eat a day, drink lots of water during your iftar, break your fast, go pray maghrib, come back, and then eat whatever you want, but very small quantity. For guys, when you guys open your fast, try to open it with water, okay? Because your body needs water more than anything else, believe me, even if you're hungry. Open it with water, eat a little bit of food, then go pray Maghrib, come back and eat more. If you guys open up your fast and eat too much at the same time, your body just wants all that food because it's been starving all day, right? So that's when you gain the weight. What he said. Number three for girls, have small meals from iftar to sahur. So little, little snacks basically, slices of cucumbers, carrots, dipping sauce, you know, something that's going to fill you up, but not too much so that you feel hungry and then you just want to eat as much as you can because you're going to be thinking, oh, I'm going to be fasting the whole day, so might as well eat whatever. No, small meals and snacks. Tip number four for guys. Okay, so this is obvious. There's no magical pill or no magical thing. If you guys want to retain as much muscle as you want during Ramadan because you're not, you know, obviously eating most of the day, you're gonna have to do some push-ups. So when you open your fast, okay, after you open your fast, you've had some food, you've had maybe an hour of weight, do push-ups at home, go for a walk, do whatever you can, even if it's 20 to 25 minutes of some kind of physical resistance exercise. That includes doing push-ups, pull-ups, if you don't go to the gym. If you go to the gym, that's very good. If you do not work out in the month of Ramadan, that's why people they, they gain fat and they lose muscle because you're not doing any resistance training. So there's no magical pill for that. You guys have to do this. Tip number four for girls. What you guys should do is lower yourselves on the pakoras and the samosas and the rice and everything at iftar. That's the sugar, that's the bread, that's the oil, that's the fat. You do not want to be eating pakoras and samosas. I know it's very hard to resist, but you have to do it if you want to stay fit and and stop those things. So the oil will get you fat. So will the sugar, so will the pakoras. And that's the beauty of being on a keto diet. And by the way, girls can try keto diet too if you really want to. Yes, can. The beauty of keto diet is you can eat the oils, you can have those fats, you can have all that, but that's all good for you. But not the pakoras. You can't have the carbohydrates. You can't have the bread, you can't have the rice, all of that stuff. I know you guys will get confused. The girls will get confused that, oh my god, you're eating fat, but when you eat fat, your body just burns the fat. When you give your body fat, it will have no choice but to burn that fat. If you eat carbs and all that stuff, that will turn into fat and then... Because on, be on a keto diet, your body goes into a stage of ketosis where your kidneys, they produce ketones. So instead of carbohydrates that become glycogen, those of you guys know a little bit of, you know, these terms, carbohydrates becomes glycogen and that's what your body uses for energy. In a keto diet, the fat becomes ketones and that's what's being used for energy. So it's the same source. Ketones are just more efficient. All of you guys probably don't know this, but our bodies are naturally designed for ketones. So what that means is when you guys don't eat any food during the month of Ramadan, your body auto automatically goes into the mode of ketones. The only difference is it's bad ketones because it's starving ketones. So you want to you wanna make your body understand, no, 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 I can make this happen and I can make it onto a positive thing and start burning fat. Okay. Tip number five for guys. Okay, this is all of these tips combined. Why? Because try and avoid sodium. 
This is what sodium does. You guys don't realize. A lot of people are just putting salt and everything. You don't realize how much of that salt is already in your food. When you put a lot of salt in your food, you get this bloating feeling, which it doesn't come right away, but it comes within the next few hours. And what that does is it makes you feel fat. It makes you feel like, oh my God, I just gained weight. And it's just psychological thing. Because what happens is you feel fat, you, you feel bad about yourself, then you end up eating more fat. You're like, well, I'm already fat, or I'm this, or I'm not going to eat anything, I'm going to starve myself. All of those things are actually bad for you. So avoid the salt, because the less salt that you're going to eat, the better you're going to feel. And drink lots and lots of water. Tip number five for girls. Do not sleep after Fajr and wake up right before Maghrib, okay? For yep. guys too, okay? For guys too. Don't sleep after Fajr and wake up before Maghrib, because... First of all, you're not getting proper sleep. And second of all, that's not the reason you're fasting. Alright guys, so till next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.